the world in grace and beauty, mirror of God's eternal face, transparent flame of love's free duty, you bring salvation to our human race. Rejoice, people of God. The light has come into the world. Sacred mystery, we now light the candle of your nativity. With the company of heaven and the sounds of great joy, you come to us. Now is the time of celebration and joy. Blessed Jesus, our life and light, thank you for coming this night to fill us. Fill us with joy at your coming and make us instruments of your love. Help us to love those you love, at least the last and the lost. Amen. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. And now we collect our hearts with the collect of the day. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you in the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from the ninth chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. And now we join together in the affirmation of our faith of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Prayers of the People 
Come, let us adore Christ the Lord. Let us pray. Glorious Lord, grant us your peace. Christ the Lord, we humbly adore you. Make joyful our heart. Strengthen your church with humility and faith that we might triumph over the power of evil. Glorious Lord, grant us your peace. Christ the Lord, we humbly adore you. You abhor neither the simple nor the lowly. Shine your light on all the world that the nations may look upon your truth and find their salvation. Glorious Lord, grant us your peace. Christ the Lord, we humbly adore you. May all of creation burst forth in songs of praise. May all the works of your hand glorify you. I invite you to add your thanksgivings. Glorious Lord, grant us your peace. Christ the Lord, we humbly adore you. Summon the people of the city to yourself. May all the distractions and heartache of our lives fade away in the joy of your presence. Glorious Lord, grant us your peace. Christ the Lord, we humbly adore you. You love us so dearly. Grant your healing grace to sinners, to the poor, to those in need of love. Open your arms to the sick and the lonely. I invite you to add your petitions of those on your heart in need of healing prayer. Glorious Lord, grant us your peace. Christ the Lord, we humbly adore you. All glory be given to you. You blessed our earthly bodies with your birth and you promised to raise us to new life by your death and resurrection. Glorious Lord, Grant us your peace. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will according to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. So come to this table, you who have much faith, and you who would like to have more, you who have been here often, and you have not been here for a long time. 
you who have tried to follow Jesus, and you who come bearing your doubt, come, it is Christ who invites us to meet him here. Because you gave Jesus Christ your only Son to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, and out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O oh Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O oh Lord of all, presenting from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with St. Andrew and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
If you have consecrated wafers with you, please receive them now as you hear these familiar words. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. If you do not have consecrated wafers, I invite you to cup your hands as though you were going to receive communion, and then place them on your own heart for a moment. Breathe in God's goodness and love. Imagine placing all of your love for God and for the world God created and the people that God has created into your hands. Then offer your love back to God by stretching your hands out to offer yourself back to God.
Let us pray. Our Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. We desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving as we proclaim your resurrection. We love you above all things and long for your souls. Since we cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into our hearts. Cleanse and strengthen us with your grace, Lord Jesus, and let us never be separated from you. May we live in you and you in us in this life and in the life to come. Amen. You may wish to light your candle now for the singing of Silent Night.
May the joy of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, the worship of the wise men, and the peace of the Christ child be ours, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you. 